It was supposed to bring unprecedented entertainment to the South Shore of Long Island, a Las Vegas style cabaret right here in Wontaw. But the doors are still locked. And the only thing on display are these big yellow signs. Hi, Diana. Welcome to 3500 Sunrise Highway. How's everything going? Not too bad. What do you think? Well, it looks the same. <laughs> Thanks, Diana. <laughs> That's Billy Dean. Remember him? He and his partner, Rory, took us through this establishment back in April. We got this from Italy. This is the Italian sculpture. You're going to see everything from America's Got Talent Ooh. to Coney Island Slideshow to high-end acts. They also took us to their other establishment, Billy Dean's Showtime Cabaret, just a few miles away. We came from a variety show club to our gentleman's club. Welcome to Billy Dean's Showtime Cafe. Not much has changed since then. The two are still flying the town of Hempstead for the permits to open, while also trying to convince the public this place is in no way a strip club. But now, Billy Dean is fighting everyone else who gets in his way. Well, uh, there's a one to a resident that has um, really crossed the line when it comes to fair play. Uh, Mr. Milano, who lives here in Wantour, uh decided that he was going to uh, make accusations that are completely false. He filed a two and a half million dollar lawsuit against Wontaw resident Kevin Milano. He accuses him of spearheading a campaign to prevent the cabaret from opening. Well, in the past, uh, he has posted flyers allegedly that said uh, this form of prostitution is coming to Wontaw. When you make those accusations, you've accused me of criminal activity. to Mr. Milano for comment and I'm still waiting to hear back. In the meantime, the next court date is scheduled for August 30th when Mr. Dean will reapply for his cabaret license. We'll keep you updated on what happens next. Stay with me on Twitter at Diana Blass and the show at JC News. Just got back from a trip.